Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T 9 and thanks to Activision, earlier this week I got hands on with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC Pack 1, multiplayer, zombies, absolutely everything, but this video is going to give you a map guide to one of the four brand new maps. This is the second of four, this is going to be all focused around Renaissance. It's a pretty cool, epic map, I've got to say, I really enjoyed it, very fast paced. Very enclosed as well in certain points, but you will see much more. Here is a very quick look at it as we skip through the intros of all of the different maps that are in this DLC. It's definitely, I would say, probably the most beautiful looking out of all of them. We've already seen what Dominion has got to offer, and now it's time to move on to map two. The other two we will cover off in the coming days, but this is an overview of the map itself. It's near the Venetian Canals. Here we go, we are going to get straight on in. Again, I've set it up in a game of domination, starting on UNSA at point A, and here we go. So there's nowhere to go at the end of the map, it's completely closed off, and this is probably the Security smallest outside. of the maps as well. And a clear three lanes, so we're going to take the right hand side, you've got cover over here, and then there's a small park there, but there's also stairways and walkways in towards, not just A, but point B. This is the fountain on the right-hand side outside of the church, which again we will come back to. And as you carry on round the right-hand side, you will find yourself coming to point C. At the end is the canal. Obviously, I think you can not really do much from there. It's a nice-looking area, though. Some nice boats floating past. But point C, I think, is going to be... I mean, you're in a corner there. So as we move round the map again, we're going to stick right to the outside... That's going to be some opportunity there to jump over onto those walls. You can see the red on the map, which means you're going to be in trouble if you go that way. But I'm sure people are going to find special ways down the side of that building especially. And now we're here at point B. So you can see it's quite a small enclosed map. But on the right hand lane coming back round on this circle, we are now back to point A. And we're going to try and head through what is kind of like the middle lane. So within this building, you can see out onto that right hand lane where we first started... You can't get over that counter, so there's going to be no one being able to hide behind there. And as you move through, this is one of the walkways up there that we would have looked at earlier on. And as I come down into this little courtyard, there is your other walkway with stairs, but there's also a couple of areas that people are definitely going to start camping on. There's a window there for the church which you can get into as well, rather than using the doors. Here we are back at point B. And again, lots of little nooks and crannies. Very tight, very enclosed. But also, those gates look familiar. Definitely seen those in a uh, another shooting game or a similar scenario. But then the church as well, right in the center of this middle lane. So much is going to go on. There's entrances at both ends and to the side. So this is going to be a huge area. I think there's going to be some sniping opportunities on this map as well. Especially as we came down what would have been the left-hand lane from our start. There's a line of sight all the way down there. And I suppose on the right-hand side as well, all the way through past the fountain. This is a little building that you can get into and it will take you all the way out and back through to point C. And again, here is that central lane again, straight back into the church. So this is a very quick look at the map Renaissance. Hopefully it has given you some insight. I hope you have enjoyed it. And maybe even it has given you an edge over your opponents as you move into Sabotage when it releases on the 31st of January 2017 exclusively on PlayStation 4. As I say, I've been Tommy T. 9 thanks for all of your support. I cannot wait to speak to you in the next one.